it's me Yamara I came to actually do a haul today I'm starting my pre-op diet tomorrow and I wanted to show you like a little bit of the things that it was sent by my doctor to do I got the stuff that I purchased so with no further ado let's start with the haul the first thing uh, it was explained to me that the reason why we have a two-week pre-op diet it's to shrink our livers as I investigated a little bit uh, more there is actually a book that is called the bariatric guide and it does explain to you step by step the things that need to be done so you can help shrink your liver and what it explains there and please this is just what I have investigated I'm not a professional by no means and this is my experience so I just want to put it out there but what they want you to do is get a very low carb um, intake so you can go on to ketosis you put your fat to work in a very low um, carbohydrate diet so doctor said that I should get three meal replacements carnation instant breakfast so I got these with the no sugar added I'm sweetened vanilla uh, almond milk so this is what I got to make my protein shakes and stuff um, I have noticed that I'm not even taking that many proteins either so what I did was I went ahead and got me some pure protein with rich milk chocolate it is the one that I have found to my taste with less medicine or protein taste I make my shakes on a magic bullet so they're not grainy they're very thick and frothy so I think that's what's good so I got these in chocolate and I got these in vanilla cream and they're to die for I got the premier protein because it's 30 grams of proteins and it's only 160 calories there this tastes to me like charcoal from the inferno so I don't like it I'm sorry well these people is not paying me to advertise them so I'm just saying I prefer the pure protein it has a better taste it tastes more like ice cream this tastes more like protein so what I do is I'm using the uh, PB2 this makes this taste much much better so another thing that I'm supposed to take also uh, while in the liquid diet it's broth so what I did is I found these reduced sodium natural flavor beef beef broth organic um, vegetable broth which I think it's it tastes delicious, delicious it's fat free it's cholesterol free it has no MSG so this is awesome I'm going to be vlogging um, the process of my diet so you guys can see what's going on and how is it uh, how difficult it might be for me uh, I, there's some people that said that after the third day it turns out a little bit better uh, other people said that totally opposite um, as I was reading what the ketogenic process is the process of detoxing from sugars and carbs it's really bad it's like if you were on drugs that's basically how they explain it so you get jitters you get dizzy you get headaches you get all kinds of pains and muscles so because it's a change being in your body and changes at once like what it makes is like you feel it you somatize it in your body so sadly to say uh, usually takes the first week uh, to, for your body to adjust uh, three days depending on how uh, much sugar you used to intake and how much car how many carbs uh, in my case I don't believe it's gonna be too much of a problem because since I started the program I have stopped using soda I have stopped using sugars I have I have limited my carbohydrate intake to the bare minimum so I don't know I believe that uh, other than the sugar from fruits and those can get excreted out of the body easier I don't think I'm gonna have too much problems now one of the things that it says both in the pre-op diet and in the ketogenic world 
is that you should keep hydrated as much as you can. When your body is starting to get into ketosis, it means liquids differently. So you need to make sure that you're getting enough fluid. So in my case, I've never tried these things. It's uh, the Power Eight Zeros, it's zero calories, and I checked and make sure that there was no carbs in it because some sweeteners do have carbs. So we need to be careful with those. Um, I was thinking about Gatorade, but Gatorade has a lot of sugar, so obviously that has a lot of carbs. So I take these. I bought a whole bunch of them, and about this one is actually strawberry. I have lemon lime and and so much other flavors. Or it is really good. It does keep me hydrated. I don't drink this all day. I just take these for when I'm going out because it's more comfortable. But I do drink a lot of water at home. I do own. The doctor said that it was okay to have. Uh, sugar-free jello so I bought these four flavors free pudding um, so I got these the instant pudding so it's not bad so so far so good um, I I hope everything goes okay with me and I'm capable of putting up with these two weeks I'm very excited I'm very nervous my surgery is in 15 days so I'm like ecstatic. Uh, I can I can wait, but also I'm a little bit scared. Obviously, I'm only human. So I also um, took the time to get some first thing, and this was so like funny because my husband was like, "What do you want those for?" So he was all laughing and all, but I guess that's good. I got me at the dollar store. Do not spend too much money because you're not gonna use this. For the rest of your life so I got all these three cutesies uh, baby sets um, they have like little butterflies and this one has like a very cute pink foxy and this is like a man dinosaur actually I got this for my husband so he doesn't feel envious or left out because you know how they are but anyhow don't let him know I hope he's not around and yes, so these are BPA free and dishwasher safe. I'm the dishwasher, so uh, they don't need to be that safe. But I got these for a dollar. These are Target, but you can find these also at the dollar store. One other thing that I've seen a lot of YouTubers said about the sipping, like around two bucks each. I bought these at Family Dollar. Uh, they have like very small little holes in there so it'll force me to take small sips instead of gulping I am very used of gulping and I know I need to rid of that very bad habit because gulping and sleeves or bypasses or, or smaller stomachs don't like that so I got me two of these I also got me actually I love I've been using this forever uh, because I used to cook before a lot so this has measurements into milliliters and up to three eighths of a cup so this is really good for when you want to meal prep as the cover so you can actually make a lot of these put it in your fridge and that'll be awesome so i got me these little things somebody told me that if i make the proteins and I make it real thick and consistent. I can put it in these things and actually have it as popsicles. Um, and they sit better in the stomach, I heard. Like I said, don't believe me yet. Once I get there, I will promise I will let you guys know if, if that's the way it works. But I'm going to try it. So these are like little popsicles. It cost me a dollar at the dollar store. So overall, like one of the most expensive things were these and the premier protein everything else like I spent less than $60 altogether with everything else now, moving along on to post-op as well but in this case I wanted to talk to you about vitamins when I did my classes they explained to me that I might not be able at least for the first month month and a half to have my regular vitamins in pills because you know the stomach is healing it might not fit 
you cannot go up so most of my pills are like this big so I got B complex uh, with extra B12 and I got this sublingual liquid um, I also got me the uh, multivitamin gummies with biotin I've been using biotin since forever because I really don't want to lose my hair I think that's one of my assets so and it's really long so I really don't want to have to deal with that so I know that biotin will help out not that it's not going to happen it will happen but it's not going to happen as bad so I got yep yeah, this uh, sundown natural women's multivitamins they're gluten free uh, they're gummies they have biotin so they support um, hair skin and nails uh, immune system and bone health uh, these are raspberry sour apple and cherry flavor I haven't tried them yet I don't know how they taste I hope they don't taste like beep yeah that exactly that the win on your mind hopefully not <laughs> but yeah I'll let you know as soon as I try them I also got me these biotin pills these are rapid rapid release liquid gels they're very small bottle down and then I also got uh, calcium citrate which is the one that they told me that I needed to get so this one has also vitamin D3 supports bone and teeth health uh, these are peach, banana, and cherry flavor. I don't like peach and banana flavor. I love cherry flavor. So I don't know how I'm going to do with this. But these are Sundown Naturals as well. Uh, I got these also on sale at CS. And I also got a coupon for $2 off. So they were very cheap. I, now, there's a lot of things that you're going to need for um, when you go to the hospital. Uh, like at gas eggs and stuff like that. That I haven't gotten because I've been procrastinated regardless that I was on CVS don't mind me I forgot about. so I heard that when you have surgery once you get off your anesthesia and all those goodies your breath smells like dragon yes lady dragon I don't want to be known as that so I got me some Listerine strip and also I got some EOS this little thing here I've never used that before but I got me one of these some gas X and I got some new toothbrush uh, to take to the doctor's office and I left them over there but I got some wipes some female wipes uh, some regular like huggy wipes as well to bring because I guess that the first day they don't let you shower so I have a very big in-law family here and they will be all there so I don't want to stink. I start my pre-op diet tomorrow and I will be posting vlogs about it. Um, so please guys, I really need your support. Thank you for your support anyways because I know a lot of you have been leaving me beautiful comments in my Instagram, on my Facebook, here on YouTube. Uh, I'm a newbie at this so I'm still learning. I will also like to give um, tremendous thanks and to some of my Instagram friends and some of them are YouTubers. A special thanks and a special love to my friend Cynthia Lucine with VSG. Cynthia, she's having surgery on the 27th. Everything's going to be alright. You rock, girl. You rock. And also to TKT0912, uh, my friend Ty. He's been a great supporter on Instagram. He does also YouTube as well, uh, brother YouTuber. Uh, you're doing awesome. You look so gorgeous. It's incredible. Um, I can't wait till I get to the Losers Branch and meet you there. And also, I would like a special prayers for my dear also YouTuber Naomi, a lighter nay. She is actually having surgery today. Um, so everybody please uh, have a big prayer for her so she can get out of that surgery well and for a prompt recovery I also have a few friends that I like to shout out on my Instagram they are adorable I have tons of them I'm sorry I know that I cannot mention all in just one video but I'll be shouting out everybody um, I'll be taking little list uh, my new be new me uh, she's awesome too sexy for my sleeve uh, my dear boston girl rock boston 
uh, El Tieso y Delfonso, you're adorable, honey. I also love the way you're losing weight as well. You're doing awesome. Um, GS Leaved, uh, Girlene, you're an awesome girl. Priest Leave Lisi, love you as well, honey. My little bug, Destiny MD, VSG to be from Maryland. Girl, those PJs are rocking. Uh, my VSG protein princess, Melissa, you are adorable. Love your progress. Keep on the good job. You're the best. And that's about that. Uh, my, uh, my to be new me, she's having surgery the 1st of September, which is one day before me. So I assume you are in the pre-op diet now. I hope it's going well. I'm scared. So that's all the thank yous for today, guys. Thank you again. And it's overwhelming the way that the bariatric community uh, show loves for one another. Thank you, everybody. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.